Do you utilize Campaign Monitor for your email system and also utilize JotForm workflows? Well, let me show you how to integrate the two together. Hey, JotFormers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly. And like I mentioned, if you utilize Campaign Monitor and JotForm workflows, you can now integrate them together very simply. So as of right now, I'm currently in my forms. So the top left-hand corner, I'm gonna jump over from my forms over into my workflows. Next, we'll create a new workflow. And for this example, I'm gonna do a one-step approval process. And we have a really nice bird's eye view up at the top. We see that we need to choose a form to kick off our workflow. Once that form has been submitted, it comes to an approver. We have approval and denial, and then we are going to end. But let's go ahead up at the top. Let's go ahead and complete these form settings. From here, we can choose a form that is currently not in another workflow. I'm gonna go ahead and create a new one up at the top though. We'll start from scratch on the classic form. Then on the left-hand side, we'll do add element. We'll do full name and email and we can go ahead and change the name of this to email subscribers perfect now let's go ahead and jump back over so now we have that form as the starting point i'm going to come down here we'll pull the end down and i'm going to delete this link right here because we are going to go over on the left hand side under integrations and we're going to come down to campaign monitor and we're going to add a subscriber now from here we can draw our links again let's go ahead and complete our settings we can authenticate our account now first we need to choose a client mine's automatically going to be on my jot form one and next we need to choose a list for our subscriber to go to i'm going to go ahead and do my first list and we can see it's now attempting to match our fields we have full name and email so we can go ahead and choose name and email. And if there is a contact already existing, we wanna go ahead and update that for sure. So we can go ahead and save. All right, we are good to go. I'm gonna go ahead and publish and we can open in a new tab. And let's get this filled out. We'll do our good friend, John Smith, and we're good to go. Now, as the approver, I am going to receive an email to let me know that I have something to approve, but I'm already in JotForm. So I'm gonna jump back over and we can jump over to our inbox. And we see right here, we have one in progress for John Smith. We see his information. Yes, we wanna go ahead and approve this. And since we are dealing with an integration, we can see that that integration is running. Now, one thing that we can do is we can jump over into Campaign Monitor, try to find where this person was added in, but JotForm makes it really easy. And we can just click right here on this link and it's gonna take us straight to John Smith. And here he is. It really is as simple as that. If you have any questions about how to integrate Campaign Monitor with JotForm workflows, let us know down below in the comments. If you like this video and you got some value, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get a notification every time we put out a new video. I'll see you next time.